Hi and welcome back to another video. Um, for this video, I wanted to talk about my favorite uh, sketch paper. It's um, a sketch block that I discovered when I moved to Germany many, many years ago. Since, the, since uh, April, I've moved back to Canada. So before I left, I made sure to stock up on this stuff. It comes in this huge block like that. The paper is relatively thick um, and you get a hundred sheets and that usually lasts me quite a while. I have some backups of course, um, but this is really the best paper for uh, multimedia sketching that I have found in my many years. <laughs> It, it just, it's very versatile. And um, I wanted to do a little bit of a demonstration just to show you what kind of media it can handle. And um, I hope uh, this is interesting to you. I realize that if you're in North America, maybe this is not available to you. But for those of you in Europe, I'll put some links below. And if you ever end up do traveling to Germany, um, I would stop by uh, a Buzzner in your area and pick some of the stuff up. If I do find a similar paper uh, here, and uh, now that I'm in North America, I'll take a look in the art stores. I will make an amendment to the comment section below and um, let you know where, where I found it. Anyhow, this paper is a four format. And uh, it's a cream color, almost like a card stock, but a lighter weight card stock. So it is also a hundred and seventy gram weight. Not so So let's take a look at the paper. So I thought I would do some live watching of um, different media depending on how long this takes I might just uh, cut in images of the final little swatches so I think I've tried pretty much everything out on here except for gouache so I think I might do like a little gouache something or other here but I got a variety of different things um, here are some pens that I regularly use, and this is probably my most purchased pen. It's a Pilot VTech V5. It's real ink, it's really juicy, and you can watercolor on top if you let it dry. This one's unfortunately dried out, so I can't use it right now. Uh, a Muji pen, another Pentel pen, a Sharpie, the infamous uh, Pentel brush pen, and a Uniball Vision waterproof. I use this for sketching a lot too. Um, you can also watercolor on top of this. You just need to let it dry, but I'll just make some some marks and uh, just show you guys looks like. So it does have some grit, so you do get a little bit of the roughness before a dry brush effect with the, with the brush pen. I'll show you a close-up of that. Can get my camera to focus. There you go. So you can get like um. So you. So you can get like those dry brush effects that you do on a textured like pastel paper or watercolor paper, because it does have a bit of grit to it.
trophy. And it doesn't really bleed as you can see. You can still get clay lines. It's a Muji pen. And if you're one of those people that likes good old ink, it does handle ink very well as well. And it does take ink washes. So with this quill, because it, um, it's a little sharper, it kind of like eats into the paper a bit, but with most papers. So you might get a little bit of bleeding if you use a very sharp little quill like that. Here are some pencil crayons. So maybe um, you wouldn't get as good a blending as you would with an uh, illustration board, but you do get like a nice texture of that, that grittiness. So if you like that almost like pastel thing with the pencil crayons, that works really well. And speaking of pastels, I'll do that right beside there. So these are pastel pencils. And then like I was mentioning, it does have some tooth to it. So it it can take it can take um, the powderiness of the, of the pastel. So what I usually use to draw are these Colorace Prisma color pencils, and I think that um, they're just really soft, and you can get them in different colors. I guess it was like a, it's big with animators and animation. There's similar, there's something like between a pencil and a pencil crayon. And uh, they're really smooth to draw with. Uh, when I do use graphite, I tend to go for mechanical pencils. And I had some of these watercolor pencils, so a graphite one and a colored one, which is black. Maybe I should use a different color. Here's a blue one. And I'll get these so you can see what that looks like.
And I'll just do a couple of little swatches of, of watercolor. These are Lucas watercolors. It's also a, a German brand. They're just the ones that I had handy. I'm just gonna layer up one of these just so you can see how you can actually do some some painting, not just um, not just washes. You can do a little bit of actual watercolor painting on this paper. Anyhow, that's sort of oh, I forgot the wash. It's a little wash palette that I made myself a little while back. I don't know how healthy the colors are right now. I'll just put some paint on it. I've just come to realize that um, I really like multimedia, I like layering different kinds of products on top of each other. I mean, I've always done it, I just never really thought about it. And um, yeah, I recently moved and I've just set up my drawing desk and I've tried to have everything kind of accessible so that I can move between things more readily. I think it'll be just more enjoyable. I think sometimes I get stuck because I I actually need another medium I don't I don't have it around. So that's change. Anyhow, I think the wash looks really good on there actually. I'll try that in the future. So there's a a sampling. So here's a sampling of some different media. Watercolor, gouache, graphite, color raised pencils, pencil crayon, pastel, brush pens, a variety of different pens, ink, and yeah, it's just like super versatile. It dries pretty fast. I mean, I wouldn't saturate it that much with water. It doesn't crinkle that much. It does a bit, of course, but um, it's quite hardy. It's quite hardy and uh, I just don't find that, um, I guess, frustrated because sometimes when you're using a multimedia paper and you just add something else on there it just doesn't go well. Yeah, I find that yeah I'm never really frustrated when it comes to this paper. So I'll show you a couple of sample pages of things that I've done in the past. Um, all of these drawings are from my 2016 sketchbook. So if you want to see more of this stuff, check out that video. Um, so here is some, some light washes and watercolor um, with uh, the color race pencil under drawing. And here is some cartooning with color race pencils. Uh, graphite drawings and light little watercolor splashes and 
here is um, uh, ink and light ink washes. So yeah, I, I just think it, and as you can see, like that paper's been, been, uh, it's been wetted <laughs> and um, it's not really like bendy and stuff. Like it does crease a little bit, but not in a very uh, bothersome way. And just to show uh, a contrast, I did pull out like a piece of white watercolor paper. So of course you're never going to get the vibrancy of watercolor or like the hue of, of, of paint medium unless you use a paper like this. But um, for sketchbooking, like rough stuff and doodling, I think it it performs like in an acceptable fashion and in a way that I just don't find frustrating because um, particularly with, with watercolor I think that's the trickiest thing because gouache lays flat and um, kind of primes the surface but with, with watercolor so I mean like you don't have as much problem with that different kinds of paper but with watercolor because it's you need so much water if the paper doesn't uh, absorb po properly it can be really frustrating and um, see you can see the the color is way more uh, neutralized but for sketchbooking purposes I think it's fantastic so yeah I'll put links to where you can get this sketchbook and I'll try to find alternatives to this paper. I mean, I have to know that I'm in Canada. So um, if you're in Germany or in Europe and you can order this or go into the shop and get it, it is a wonderful paper. I'm going to do a few more of these sketchbook reviews with other sketchbooks that I have and hopefully there are a few or at least one that's available in your part of the world. So stay tuned for that and thanks for dropping in guys. Bye!